Welcome to Dready Says. We have the little Mistral 10 foot 6 paddleboard. It's been a bit of a weird review in a really good way. So I was out on my good friend's boat and I was like, right, we need to test it. So how are we going to test it? We've already done the unboxing, check that out. And we tested it on the water. I did the usual run and jump on it business as you can see now so i ran and jumped on it paddled it around a little bit we checked it out as a kayak as well with the kayak seat and the paddle a little bit of footage for you now and this was this was the fun bit i was like can you pull a paddleboard behind a boat now we did this in a uh, water skiing area on the norfolk broads and as you can see, a little bit of a spoiler, it worked. Surprisingly, I was admittedly using about two foot of the board. But yes, you can pull it behind a boat. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. I just realised that rhyme, so I'm very sorry about that. Right, Dreddy says, and we're gonna take the Mistral out on the water in this gorgeous broad in Norfolk, hence broad. Yeah, I'm not using the pump, I'm using my air bank because uh, it's too hot for that. And yeah, hot is spelt O A T, hot. So, initial thoughts and impressions are incredibly good. Stitching's good, board's good. I'm only putting 14 PSI in each chamber because it is a very hot day. It's 20 degrees Celsius, so you've got to give it a bit of room to expand. But I'm going to test it out. Rather than shouting at the camera, I'm probably just going to leave this rolling and then um, do a bit of VO, maybe. But all in all, Initial thoughts are good. Uh, can confirm the canoe mode, kayak mode foot thing does float because it fell overboard. But yeah, get right back to you. It's on. Right, is it running? It is. Right, so my glorious camera assistant. Yep. <laughs> Do your 360 cameras. Uh, it's going to be filming, and I haven't tried this uh, Mistral. Mistral? Yep, Mistral, Lidl, board yet. Uh, I forgot to bring my quick release belt, but we are nice and safe and secure in the Norfolk Broads. And I'm gonna try a running, jumping start, because it's a new board. And if I get wet, I get wet. So I need to jump this foot in the air and away we go. Got nothing on me that I don't mind losing. Good luck. Good luck, yeah. <laughs> so I only get one step instead of my usual three. Jump off that leg. You can bugger off. Trying to steal all the thunder. And away we go. He's off into the boat graveyard. Every time <laughs> I do a splash here. Every time I do that. No, you were fine. I jump and then the paddle needs to go in the water one side. I always do it the wrong side. <laughs> but as we saw, with a cheap board, that did the running test. Yeah, looks looks good. Yeah, it was alright. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna do with those bloody valves. But, so far, also a big shout out to Pam Tuffler for sending me these uh, barefoot shoes. They were really grippy, I stopped dead. Um, this could be a really short review because this thing is extremely stable for a cheap board. 
And this is what you'll be doing as well when you have your first go today. Well, that's what I'll be attempting to do. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we can, we can get the nose out a little bit on this. The dual chamber's working well. I had no issues, obviously, jumping on it. I'll give you a go on this one as well. Because you're probably, what, two, three pounds more? Yeah, I'm at something like that. It's yeah. just not much. Sliding okay. <laughs> Boat's rocking. Oh, big waves. Oh, waves. <laughs> Where did that come from? Yeah, uh, GoPro noise. <laughs> I'm in shot, I'm in shot, I'm not in shot. <laughs> yeah, you are. But I am on the Insta. <laughs> You're not now. <laughs> Just say no to GoPro. So not a lot to say really about the old Mistral. I'm impressed. It, the paddle isn't bad. Not bad at all. in the water? Yeah, easy. Does the paddle float? Let's find out. Yep, check. <laughs> there were early paddle boards that came out where the paddles didn't float and you were literally up a creek without one. Well yeah, if it doesn't float, it's going to be at the bottom. Don't forget to tighten this up when you put it in kayak mode. Yeah, kayak. Buy a paddleboard to do kayaking. <laughs> That's pretty good actually. I mean, it'll work. Oh yeah. But tick if you want to turn it into a kayak. I don't know why you would, it's a paddle board. You're going to get absolutely drenched because the paddles putting water everywhere but yeah woo kayaker. I hate kayak. <laughs> yeah big tick. Right running start. Right well I can only go a little bit quicker. <laughs> no no leave it at this speed. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, you can take her up. ourselves the question can you paddle use a paddle board behind a boat can you use a 180 pound cheap little board behind a boat yes do you need a proper rope with a handle ow yes um, we've been good boys and girls because this is um, the water ski area on the broads and uh, I'm just gonna have a nice uh, leisurely trip back now Catch you for the next one. Right, conclusion. So, 
you're paying 200 quid, 180 with a little card. Dual chamber, the inflation points, as you saw in the unboxing, are sort of under where your feet are if you're doing step back turns. But when I'm jumping up and down on the board, I'm currently about 74 kilograms. It worked. Uh, it wasn't too banana -y. it wasn't bending. The paddle's fine, it's aluminium, it floats as we saw. The strap's not bad, the, the ankle leash, uh, grab a quick release. All the birds are here now. Grab a quick release. Um, the pump, it's a pump. I, I use electric pumps, you know, the jury's out. A lot of people say, oh, it's a good warm up, or oh, it only takes me seven minutes, it's quiet. If you've got an electric pump, use it and just work harder on the water. It's entirely up to you, but the pump that comes with it did work. It was functional. It's a two-stage pump. It's about three, three and a half litre. Um, so it's all good. The bag, exceptional quality. Normally, the cheaper boards have rubbish bags. Uh, the board itself, the gluing was good. The valves only need a little bit of a pinch up. So quality control is very, very good. And they're cheap. And they've probably sold out now across the country, but I've had a busy couple of weeks, so I've only just been able to get this review out for you. But it is a big thumbs up from me. For what you're paying, for what you're getting, they've been out for years now, since the boom of SUP about four years ago, and they just work. The single fin, you know, you don't get the two thruster fins on it now, but even with me out behind a boat, literally just using the center fin, to steer the board it worked absolutely fine it's a bit of a no-brainer to be honest with you if you can find one if you can pick one up grab one there's going to be a lot of people now buying them and trying to sell them for three four hundred quid don't go down that route just find a local little and see if they've got them and just grab them from there they will probably come back in later in the uh, year i think i've seen them twice the pumps are junk Ignore the pumps, they don't work. Um, the wetsuits apparently are awful size fittings, but the board, big thumbs up. So that's it from me. This has been a long time coming. I've been meaning to grab one, but every time I've tried to find one, they've been sold out. But here it is, the Mistral Little Paddle Board. All right guys, more pump reviews coming. You guys take care. I'll catch you for the next one.